Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my monthly empties from the month of August. I'm really excited to show you guys this because this bin is overflowing and I think we have some goodies in here. I finished off a ton of body care kind of at the tail end of August, just finishing off a ton of summer stuff. So I have a lot of stuff to show you. This is gonna be a juicy one. So grab a snack, grab a beverage, and let's get started. I think I'm gonna start with body care just cause that's what's on top. So first I have the Trader Joe's Brazil Nut Body Butter. Oh my God, you guys, this was so good. I am so happy that I had this and I got to use it this year. I saved it for myself from last summer and it's just honestly one of the best scents ever. So I will definitely be picking it up again next year. And they were so smart to come out with more forms this time. So I loved this one. Finished off my Old Faithful Beach Nights in the Shower Gel. Just one of my favorites of all time. And I really only had a tiny bit um, left over from my Project Use It Up to finish in August. So did that one real quick. Also finished off the Coco Paradise Body Lotion. Also in my Project Use It Up. I liked this one. It wasn't my favorite scent. It was definitely just like a generic, simple body care coconut, but I did still like it and I enjoyed it. I just wouldn't pick it up again, I think. Another coconut scent, I finished off the Brazilian Crush Cheriosa number 39 from Sol de Janeiro. This is coconut cream and toasted praline. I really liked this one. It was so yummy. Um, very sad that they discontinued this, but I totally understand it. I think it's just like a super simple summer scent, so they might have wanted to go a little bit bolder with their scents. Also finished the little mini body cream cleanser in the same scent, so that one was nice. I like this formula. Um, definitely not for like sweaty showers because I feel like it's, it's moisturizing, so it doesn't leave you feeling very clean. So I would do this more for like a morning shower or something, not like an end of the night shower after I've sweat and like worked out and stuff, so. I liked it, but not for all the time. We've got a Coco Paradise shower gel that I also finished off. I think I liked it better in the shower gel than anything else, but yeah, just a generic cocoa scent, coconut scent. And I've got these two hand soaps. These are both from this year's SAS. So I have white tea and sage and pineapple mango. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of these deep cleansing hand soaps, but this was pretty cheap, so I didn't mind buying it. I think it was like maybe $3 or $2.95 or something. So I didn't mind it. And then Kitchen Lemon and Honolulu Sun. This was such a fun combination, especially for the kitchen sink, which is where I used it, and I really liked it. Okay, I'll just go ahead and get into some candles because they're really bulky and kind of blocking my view of the rest of the product. So let's get into candles. I finished off Mahogany Coconut. Love, love, loved this one. Um, this is gonna be probably one of my staple summer scents every year. It's Creamy Coconut Mahogany Woods and English Lavender. English Lavender? Girl, I don't remember lavender being in this, but anyways, it's just a sophisticated coconut scent with a slight like, I wouldn't even say masculine with the mahogany, but a slight like airy feel. I love this one, it's so good. The next one I finished off is Pink Petal Tea Cake, and I enjoyed this one. It's not my favorite scent. I don't think I'll pick it up again, um, even if they bring it out again, which I'm not sure they will, but it's Pink Rose Petals Pound Cake and Vanilla Glaze. It's a nice scent. I like it for the bedroom. It's just not my favorite. I'm not a rose person, so I enjoyed it. I've used this up, I think, two times now. I've had two candles of this and I liked it, but it's not my absolute favorite. Next, I have Tiki Beach. Now, I've never tried this scent. This is my first time trying Tiki Beach, and I loved it for the summertime. It was like a wonderful, almost like a resort scent. It's warm vanilla musk, orchids, and toasted coconut. I think that vanilla musk makes it smell really like high scale. High scale? Upscale? Upscale. But I liked this a lot. It burned really well. No complaints about it. It was great. And the fourth and final candle that I finished in August is Ginger Lime Twist. I really liked this one. It was nice um, to have something like fresh and I wouldn't say fruity, but like fresh and um, citrusy to go while it was 100 plus degrees here. So this is fresh lime zest, fizzy ginger beer and crushed mint leaves. This was like the perfect kind of pick me up um, when I was just feeling down and trapped in my house about the heat. This one was a perfect pick-me-up because it's just like nice and 
springy and makes you feel good. So I liked this one a lot and I definitely will pick it up again. So I've got a couple Scentsy bars. I was trying to finish off anything that I had left for like summer scents or anything that was like halfway used or only had a few cubes left. So I finished off three bars, not a ton, but I did just do a pretty big Scentsy fall order. So I will be getting in a lot of bars soon. So I'm also working on finishing what I have. So anyways, we have Luna right here. I This is my first time trying Luna and I really, really enjoyed it. This was a great bedroom scent. It honestly like lasted a whole week. It is just like a nice fresh scent for the bedroom. It was so lovely. Another bedroom scent is Clothesline. This was just like a nice simple laundry scent and I really enjoy laundry scents for the bedroom. I think it's just nice and refreshing and this one is very fresh. And then the last one is Crumb Top, which this one was in the in the kitchen, I wanna say. And it is just such a good gourmand scent. It's like a, it smells like a muffin, like a banana nut muffin without the banana. That's what it smells like. It smells really good. And I also finished off this little mini in Fairy Tale Pumpkin. I believe I got this last year from my Scentsy consultant, um, Ashley, since with Ashley P here on YouTube. And I wanted to try this one, I think, because I had a few random um, cubes that I wanted to pair something with. And this was like the perfect, like fruity, almost um, cinnamony kind of mix to go with it. I really liked it, I have to say, so that was fun. I am finding a few more mini body care items. So I did have this little mini Vanilla Waves from Scentsy um, Body Wash. This was just like a tiny one, a little travel size, so I used that up. I liked this scent, but not my favorite formula. It didn't really like lather up super well, but I did enjoy it. It was nice and simple. Um, I also finished off two little tester uh, perfumes, one in Chanel Chance, which I like this scent, but I would never purchase the full size. It's a little too perfumey for me. And then Replica's Bubble Bath, which triggered my asthma so bad. So I would not recommend this if you have that same problem. So it was nice and like fresh. I actually really liked the scent, but unfortunately my body did not cooperate with me liking the scent. So yeah, that's those two and I finished them up. Oh, totally didn't even see this EOS shave cream down here. This is the dry skin shave cream in the coconut oil version. I love the EOS shave creams, honestly my favorite. Um, let me know down below if you suggest one that I should try because I think I've only ever tried the EOS and just like the Gillette basic ones and Dionys. Dionys goat milk um, shave cream is actually pretty good too, but let me know if you have a brand that I should try because I feel like I've been stuck on EOS shave creams for a few years and I should probably venture out and see what else is out there, so let me know. I have a few random home fragrance items. So I have this raspberries and whipped vanilla little wallflower fragrance bulb. I bought, I think like four or five of these just randomly at SAS one time. And yeah, it lasted me through the whole summer. I really enjoyed this scent. It's just like nice and fresh and fruity and helps the house kind of smell, you know, just generally nice. And then I finished off Frozen Lake in the hand sanitizer. Um, this one was just nice and fresh. Um, I've been using up a lot of hand sanitizers, probably, well, I say a lot, but like once a month, I finish off a hand sanitizer in my bag that I use to bring Kai on his walk. So after I pick up poop, I can use some hand sanitizer. <laughs> so I just like those super fresh and like airy kind of scents for that. So that's this one. I did enjoy it a lot. And then in my car, I finished off a Scentsy Scentsicle and Vanilla Mint. I thought this was a nice like, change of pace from a regular summer scent. It was really, really yummy. A nice like super simple vanilla with a slight little twinge of mint in there and it was so nice. So I really loved this. Okay, I apologize if the like lighting is changing a lot. It is getting significantly darker <laughs> right now, even though it's it was just like super sunshiny earlier. But anyways, okay, I've got a couple skincare items for you guys. So I did finally finish off this Bath & Body Works coffee lip scrub. I used it all the way down to the bottom. There's absolutely nothing left in here. This was 1050. I believe I got it probably like half off um, during like a mini sale or something. So maybe like $5 and this lasted me a good solid year. So yeah, I leave these in the shower and I use them every time that I remember to use them in the shower, which is like 
maybe once every other day. So it lasted me a whole year doing that and I really enjoyed it. I liked it a lot. So I finished off the coffee one and I believe I have some sort of like twisted peppermint or just like peppermint one in the shower right now, which I'm kind of liking, but the top is like very oily. So I just have to get down to the scrub, but yeah. I really enjoy these. So if you're thinking about getting them, definitely get them when they're on sale next time. And then I also finished off a fresh sugar polish uh, face polish. This stuff is so good. Okay, I need to show you this. So camera, please focus. This stuff is so, so good. So basically you massage it on wet skin. So I left this in the shower and I would do this about once or twice a week. So I have a four day skincare routine um, day one is a acid peel. I know it sounds scary, but it's not. Um, day two is retinol. Day three is just like a moisturizing mask. And day four is a polish. So this is a very gentle one. I would only recommend doing that if you're kind of experienced with skincare. I would not recommend an abrasive um, face scrub to just a regular person. <laughs> if you are very well versed in skincare, please Give this a try because it is amazing and i noticed a significant difference in my skin using this once or twice a week than anything else i mean also retinol but like this stuff is so good so if you've ever considered getting a facial scrub do your research but this stuff is so so good and i know it's like 40 bucks which makes me so sad but it was totally worth it it was so good okay next i finished off this sunday riley autocorrect brightening and depuffing eye contour cream this stuff was actually pretty good. It was very like illuminating on the face. I really liked it. Probably not gonna buy this because Sunday Rally is super expensive, but I did like it. Um, I finished off this Cela V Mulberry Hydrogel Eye Masks. This is like a little Korean skincare brand. I actually picked these up at Ross and I'm surprised they didn't break me out or anything. I liked these a lot. I kept them in my little mini skincare fridge and they felt really good every now and then when I needed them. So I liked them. I don't even know where you would buy that though because I found it at Ross, I have no idea. Um, and then I finished off a little mini CeraVe daily moisturizing lotion. I just had one of these to like travel with and finally finished it. I think I will keep this packaging though so I can just refill it and bring it on trips with me, so. Okay, to my surprise, I finished off five makeup items this month, mostly because I finally told myself that these were empty even though I had been scraping the bottom of them for a while. Starting off with this little mini Rare Beauty blush in Adore. I got this as a birthday present last year um, from Sephora. So you get like a little mini set. So this came in that and I love it. I adore the shade Adore. It was so good. But yeah, it, it was totally on its last leg. It's done. I need to purchase a full size, but I was just holding out and I need to purchase a full size. It's so good. Same with these two mascaras. I have the little Merit Beauty perfect black mascara. This is just a mini. I really like this for a super natural mascara look. I've definitely had it open for longer than three months though, so I'm gonna chuck it, but I did like this for a natural look. For a not so natural look, I had the Bad Gal Bang from Benefit. This was nice. Um, I really didn't like this silicone applicator. It kind of poked me a lot, so it wasn't my favorite mascara, but I did finish this guy off. I also finished the Pixi Glow Mist. I was using this a ton, um, I wanna say last summer, but I only had a tiny bit, so I just finished it off now. But I really like this, especially if you have dry skin. This is a really, really, really beautiful finishing spray to kind of melt in all of your makeup. If you use a lot of powders and you have dry skin, totally use this. And then I finished off this little mini Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is also a free birthday gift from Ulta, probably two years ago. And oh my God, it was so good. And I did just purchase the full size and it's totally worth it, you guys. It is absolutely beautiful. All right, last two things for my empties. I have the Love Beauty and Planet Sulfate Free Shampoo Scrub. You guys have heard me jab my jaws about this, so you don't need to hear it anymore, but I love this stuff. And then the Herbal Essence Totally Twisted Curl Boosting Mousse. I use this if I ever wear my hair natural, natural which my hair is like naturally wavy curly, so. I do love this stuff. Okay, that is it for my massive empties. I did really good this this uh, month, you guys, especially on getting rid of the makeup that was definitely expired and needed to go. So I did very good on that. I got through four candles and I got through a ton of body care. So August was a great month. 
I don't know if it's going to be that great in September. We shall see. I haven't used up a ton of body care yet, but I do actually have the two body scrubs that I'm using right now that are almost done. So I think I could definitely finish those. But anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. That was super chatty, but I hope you enjoyed my little tidbits of knowledge there about some skincare and makeup stuff. So anyways, that is everything for today's video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.